Hey everyone, my name is Joy, this is Game Center Crown, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 Ashes of Arian Dell, the DLC. Um, for transparency purposes, I've leveled up twice and put it into stamina, and I also bought five embers. And we are continuing our quest for what the hell is going on in this place. And there should be... Yeah, it's over here. In order to get to the next part, we gotta come this way. We've already been down here before. The last time we did this, we went left and hit a dead end. But if we go this way, we can continue our journey. No! You motherfucker. If you die, please die. Did you die? Yes, large titanite shard. Cool. <laughs> That's how you know it worked. Um, this is another part. There's a fair and follower over there, but um, you can see sort of this little village that we got going on here, and it loops around. So, we are headed down into that shit. You thought we were done with the Ashes of Ariandel? No, sir, though I will say it is... Oh, great. We have these assholes. Uh, can I lure you? Can I interest you in a throwing knife in this trying time? Can you not look at me so much? Eh, fuck it. Boy, you tried, didn't you? I got stamina for days now, and by stamina for days I mean I leveled up twice <laughs> into stamina. Not that much, but uh... Slowly but surely. Um, we will actually slide down there, so I want to at first... Get a look. We were down there. That's called the Depths of the Painting, is what that bonfire was called, down there on the icy lake. And now we are going into this, uh, which, is, which is called the Corvian Settlements. Again, Corvians, Corvids, Crows being related to Velka, Goddess of Sin, having a tie back to Dark Souls 1 in the painted world of Ariamis, and again here in Ariandel, though she is not explicitly stated. Velka is not really present here except for the Corvids. Um, and I think that's because there's a obvious link between the painted world of Ariamis and the painted world of Ariandel. And so they're linking those two things. Woo! Rip it, buddy! Aw, oh, yeah. Wow, the new SSX snowboarding games look great. Very dark direction they took this time. Anyway, enough goofing. Let's get into this shit. Oh, hello. Large soul of an unknown traveler. And I'm definitely going to start popping some of these souls and leveling up a bit more aggressively, especially when we get done with Ariandel and uh, move forward to the Ring City DLC, because boy howdy, that Ring City DLC. We ain't seen nothing yet. But now we are down in the settlement. And I want to keep the high ground here for a while. As long as I can, we will be jumping down into some shit. As you can see, our centipede friends from Irithyll are back. And still nasty. Stay nasty. Um, and I still have the silver cat ring on, so I could jump down there, but why would I want to do that uh, when I could make a nice, graceful descent and take my damn time? Oh, I hear something. I hear something. Don't know where it's coming from, but I hear it. And down there was the grave tender fight that we just did in the last episode. I really do love the way FromSoft layers its worlds like this. It's just incredible that you can kind of see where you're going, where you've been, and where you came from. Um, just, it's just beautiful game design, really. And we're gonna get up into some nasty shit. These guys are a bit more obviously Corvian. You can see that they're birds and shit. There are white ones and black ones. They're fucking terrifying. Ooh, you're nasty, aren't you? Various states of de decomposition and decay. Again, we have been told to find a little bit of rot. Are you gonna vomit? Yeah, you are. Um, are you gonna barf? But we've been told to find a little bit of rot to lie down in. 
And so we are definitely in the depths of a rotted painting, or the rotted depths of a painting, rather. rather. And fuck you, chick! I know your nasty, nasty tricks. And right now I'm just clearing everything around. As you'll notice, a lot of these sort of lie dormant until you get close and then they try to jump scare you. Ooh, what'd you drop? A stock dung pie. He just gave a shit with a shit on a shit on a stick. If I can say it even. Thankfully we are doing good damage against these guys. Um, in my platinum character, I'm on like new game plus six, so everything is obnoxiously difficult and robust. I believe she's like soul level 260. And her name is, of course, Zelda. Uh, now we are level 92. And still on the first run through the game. Ooh, hello! <laughs> Kicked him in the face, didn't mean to do that, but hey, it'll work. Um, there should be something kind of nasty back here, if I remember correctly. And I think I do. Let's see what's happening over here. A gate that we cannot get through yet. We will be back. And in here is where some shit starts to get real. Well, you're nasty looking, ain't you? Woo, like some Valdo shit, some Soul Calibur shit. No, you stop with that sickness, buddy. And you're done, so. Large Titan Eye Shard. Those are Corvian Knights. We will be picking up some of their weapons and set later, but just so you know, Corvian Knights. And you can see we're in sort of the sloppy goop and these more maggot looking things. Very rotted, very full of decay down here. Uh, I can already tell that this is going to be a much easier playthrough than my Platinum character just by how easily I was able to deal with that Corvian Knight. And that makes me very happy, I gotta tell you. that Honestly, because, you know, I never want to, you know, put on a show that, you know, oh, this is easy or it's like way too more difficult than it actually is. But I, I know it's not entertaining to watch me die over and over again. Maybe some people get some weird sick pleasure out of it, but... Uh, I don't know, I feel like it ruins the quality when I'm just like eating shit repeatedly. So it makes me happy that I appear to be at a level that uh, will have us progressing smoothly. If we come in here, get some respite from the cold. We can get an ember, hell yeah, hell yeah. And we have a friend. Oh, well, there is nothing forlorn about you. You must be the other Ash, I suppose. I am Ash, I am not Ash. I am Ash. Oh. Oh, finally, you have come. Oh, wondrous Ash. Grant us our wish. Make the tales true, and burn this world away. My lady must see flame. And you have only to show her. You are Ash, are you not? Is it not fire that you seek? Couple of things. This is not the first time we've been told that we are not forlorn. This is not the only time that we've been told that we are the other Ash in this painting. And we are Ash and we must seek fire. And my lady only need see fire to burn the rot of this world away. Very interesting. Surely you have seen the rot that afflicts our world. But that which fooled the good father and buried the flame. After we had all made up our minds, too. So, please, grant us one wish. Make the tales true and burn this world away. My lady must see flame, and you have only to show her. 
make the tales true and burn this world away. So there's legends here. And we're seeing some parallels. The world of Ariandel uh, mirrors our world outside of the painting where we're in the cycle of rekindling a flame to burn away darkness. And he says, make the tales true, burn away the rot in this painting. Oh, please. It must be you. I am so terribly frightened of timidly rotting away like those... like those fools on the outside. I was hoping for that dialogue. Okay, so those fools on the outside. He's referring to people outside of the painting, or at least he's implying it. So... Yeah, this place, while we're constantly like, hell yeah, let's light the flame, let's burn the shit, let's keep the darkness away. Something has happened here where the flame is not being lit. Where flame is not even really a concept here. Um, in terms of flame being a concept that can burn away something and start anew. Um, and so the world has grown stagnant and started to rot. He mentioned a witch convinced our good father to seal away the flame. Um, we don't know who that is, and we don't know who his lady is. Um, the only lady that we know of right now is Lady Frida, but is that the same lady? We just don't know. Um, I'll look around here, and there's lots of little, yep, jumpy shit back here. Uh, I was hoping to get an item, but just your scraggly ass, I guess. And I'm gonna re-up. Didn't notice I was a little low on health there. By a little low, I mean... Are you gonna do anything with me, or are you on your way? You're on your way somewhere. So they're going over there. Oh, and there is a bonfire! Turn up. And also a little item there. And I also... hear... a sparkly... Trying to, I think there is an illusory, illusory wall in here somewhere, and ooh, look at you. Um, yeah, we're getting some summon signs because this area can be a little daunting at times. That's okay. Let's see, I'm trying to, is that where the gate was? No. No, this is where we came through. That's where the gate is, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Get my bearings, sorry. All right, so let's go across. We see these guys all sort of single file lining up. And I don't know what they're headed to. But let's see what's going on here. They seem too distracted by something. Oh, hello. That's another Corvian Knight. Oh, y'all gonna run now? Yep, they're covering their heads and running. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to lock onto you, not them. Whoa, buddy. And he's got throwing knives. Aren't you cool? Yeah. Yeah, you're cool. Aren't you? Ooh. I do believe they have a bleed up, bleed build up effect at some point with their shit. Yeah, that's a nice move, isn't it? You can see how large those things are sticking out of me. Oof. Not like this. Boy, bye. Large Titanite Shard. Not really worth it, gotta say, but... I don't think these guys will attack us, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Uh, back here is back where that little thing is. Or the uh, gate that we couldn't get to before. So I'm actually gonna come down here and I'm actually gonna plunging attack this nasty... This nasty hoe right here. 
girl by. Okay, and then we're gonna open this shit up. Pull that lever. Opens that up. And now we can get an item! And we get the simple gem. Which we can apply to weapons. Um, and now we gotta run our way back. Ugh, but that's okay. We've gotten rid of the Corvian Knights. And I can't remember if they respawn or not. I feel like they might. I feel like that might be an asshole move that FromSoft pulled. That these sort of tougher enemies respawn. Yeah, New Game Plus 6 versus the Corvian Knights. Not a lot of fun. Not as easy. A lot of oh, more close I calls. Like yeah, and I'm just making sure he doesn't have anything new to say because he will get new dialogue at some point. Um, oh, are you gonna just crawl away? Trust no one, not even yourself. So, come back in here. Oh, are you gonna pay attention to me now? That's not very nice of you. This is... Yeah, I'm not gonna sit at that bonfire because I don't want to reset every everything and its brother in here. That's from once we came. We've taken care of the Corvian Knight. We can handle some sh business now. Get out. Oh, I thought you could break that down. Just kidding. Oh, hello! Yeah, it's shit like that. It'll pop out at you and scream at you. This place is- it's definitely the spookies. It's, it does not open from this side. You motherfucker. What about you? What if I actually tried to open you? It does not open from the side. Of course you don't. Okay. Let's come around here. Oh, hello! Got some poison bomb happening. Ooh, you are nasty. And I have toxic buildup. Hold, please. I need to, uh... Shit. Shit. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want... Uh... No, I want the thing that cures me of what ails me. I need to be watching my health. Ugh. Hold on. Uh, inventory. Crap, what cures me? I forget. Green Blossom. No, it's like, um, I thought it was these. Moss fruit, but it's not. What cures me of what ails me, please? Do I not have something that works against that? Do I need to just let it ride? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all, frankly, but that appears to be the case, and you can see how much it is taking off of me. I might... Mm. God, toxic. I don't know what kills that. Ember, okay. Um, God damn, dude. Stock dung pie. I'm gonna look through my shit one more time and then I'll get going, I promise. But green blossom. Moss fruit. I could have sworn it was moss fruit. Purging stone. Uh, that's cures poison. I'm gonna take it just to see what happens. Did a whole lot of nothing, okay. Yeah, buddy, that's weird. I thought I had something that cured that. Maybe not. Maybe I used it all up somewhere. That sucks, bro. That really, really sucks. Here, I'm gonna take moss root to hopefully curb some shit here. Uh, I really don't want to rest at the bonfire. We're making such good progress. But if I rest at the bonfire, it will get rid of the shit effect that's on me right now. Mm, decisions, decisions. Um, God. I really don't want to... I'm down to three. Yeah, shit. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna... Back that ass up. Go use the bonfire. Heal our soul. Get rid of my toxic. Thank you. That is shitty that we don't have anything that heals toxic. And I bet this fucking Corvian Knight is going to be here again. Which is probably what burns my biscuits the most. Is that this asshole is going to be back. Yep, he's back. But... 
We kicked his ass. Got a large Titanite shard out of it. Can we open this? Does not open from the side. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Because why would it? So, good news is that we got rid of our toxic buildup. Where are you headed, amigo? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, that's where we're headed, I guess. Oh, hi. Oh, you are a bitch, is what you are. Trying to- both of them tried to shove me off. Fuck off with that. Get down with that shit, man. And then this guy. Oh, hello, and another one. So many motherfuckers trying to jump scare a bitch, and it ain't working. I'm a soul's veteran. Fuck out of here. You're gonna bomb at me again, and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here because I don't want to be toxic, like written spears or some shit. If you could stop with that. I just need you to really stop. Like, really, truly, and deeply. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's come in here. Yeah, I don't trust any of these fuckers. Hmm. Strange. Strange little hole there gonna hit all these walls. Okay, I think this is just a little, like, resting point, maybe. And you can see there is, like, some serious rot afflicting this place. But we can come up through here. Oh, look at this! That's the other Corvianite that, uh, drops down. Isn't that fun? Here. Okay, or completely missed. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You, you do you, boo-boo. So we're gonna come up here and run around on the rooftops. Oh yeah. Ooh, and yeah, these guys have some magic. Surprise, bitch. It surprised the hell out of me the first time I saw it. And there's one behind me. This I know for sure. Two behind me. Stop with your soul arrow shit. Thank you. Zero out of ten. Do not hit me with that shit. Miss me with that shit. Um. Okay, let's see. Thought something was gonna... Okay, we can drop down in there, and I think that will allow us to open up a door as well. So, pretty cool. Um, this brings us across that bridge. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, I think I'm gonna drop down first, actually. Take care of that. And I have the silver cat ring, which means I can do whatever the fuck I want. Get away from me. Slave knight. Shit. Open this pit up. Don't want nothing to do with you nasty, toxic motherfuckers. Fuck up out of here. Uh, you are robust. And I used all my fire bombs. Well, we got the slave knife set. Which is really... Whoa! Get away from me! Such nastiness everywhere. But we got the slave knife set, and that's really what we really wanted out of all of this. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out how to get back on the roof. I forgot! I forgot, y'all. I think we come this way. Yes, yes we do. And I'm gonna stop here just because I know we're safe. Hold on. Oh, that just lets us peer in to see that we get treasure treasure. So as I referred to him in the first episode, I believe, uh, we got Slave Knight Gale, and this is his set. 
A cloth hood issued to slave knights, colored red to vi vibrantly signify their stature. Long ago, only the undead served as slave knights. Warriors used as fodder in the bleakest of battles. They grew decrepit, their skin charred black and their bones twisted. Eventually, they went outright mad, but were never relieved from duty. Let's see. Armor issued to slave knights. The fine craftsmanship made this a symbol of honor. Fine craftsmanship. Da 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 da. Slave knight. Yep. So, despite being slaves, and as you can see, there's only a loincloth really there and some armor. But, uh, yeah, that's what, what, that's what Gale was wearing when we saw him sort of bowing to the, uh, altar of the deep. I actually wanna. Ooh, I knew there was gonna be some good shit over here. Oh, hello! Look, 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 look. That actually scared me. That one got me. Good job, Gar Dark Souls. Okay, we got a soul item. That one made me jump. Good job. You did it. So, we'll do this. Come back up here. And I actually want to jump down here. Yeah, fuck you. And your arrows. And your soul arrows. Ooh, hello. Look, I don't need your shit. Oh, there's another thing down there. Ooh. Let's see what we do here. Is this uh, above our friend? It is above our friend. Okay, so we've been in here before. And I think, yep, this is the other, what I was just looking at being like, oh, there's something over there. Indeed it is, okay. Come around here. Get onto another rooftop. Yeah, I fucking see you, you s not sneaky bitch. You're not slick, my bro. Crow talons, aha. This is what we like to see, is some weaponry. I believe it's down here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Talons used by Corvian knights inflict five inflicts five perpendicular slashes, causing heavy bleeding. In their infatuation with Sister Frida, the Corvian Knights swore to protect the painting from fire, and to this end took the execution of their own brethren. In their infatuation with Sister Frida, the Corvian Knights swore to protect the painting from fire. That witch convinced the good father to hide the fire away. Could the witch be... Sister Frida. Hmm. Hmm. Seems that we are receiving some compelling evidence that, yeah, that might be the case here. Um, and yeah, this is above our buddy. So we can come this way. And this has a ladder down. Oh, and another door. And is there another nasty something, something hiding in here? I hope not. Oh no, this just gives us a shortcut. Perfect. Perfect. Got any goodies hiding for me in here? Bueller, anything? No. Cool. We have a shortcut to get onto the roof again now. Perfect. Yep, and we just drop down here and this takes us all the way up. Good, good, good. Uh, what we're trying to do now is we're trying to get behind that gate um, up to where those Corvians were kind of going single file. And also we're on an item run. As you can see, there's a ton of shits kind of scattered up around here. And this actually lets off right here. I heard some nasty slide and slipping happening here. So I am actually just going to run on back to the- Oh, fuck you. Fuck off. I forgot that that's a thing. Oh, heck. Okay, there's Corbins over there. Yep, alright, you fooled me. Fuck off with that. Yes, we have to run around again. Because I done goofed. Sorry, y'all. I forgot that that kicks you off. Despite it looking like you can just walk back on and off of it. Not the case. Not the case at all. So, we're gonna learn from our mistakes and just come in here. And we already went down there and opened that shit up and got the items, uh, which was the Slave Knight set. So we're gonna come up here. And this should bring us around town. I swear to God. 
when you dude springs to life and scares the shit out of me. I'm gonna be so mad. And I feel like another Corbian Knight is over here. And indeed, there he is. Bitch, I see you. Boy, bye. Where are you going? I actually don't know what's down there. I wonder if he's running back up. But, yeah, that's another Corbian Knight. I'm not sure where he's going. But, you know what? We don't have to deal with him, and I already knocked off, like, 80% of his health, so we're good. We good. Making sure I'm not going to get spooked by one of these assholes. I got some goodness up in here. And in the building I'm standing on are two Corvian Knights in very close quarters, so I'm going to not. So, uh, yep, there's one. Boy, bye. And there's another one. But there is an item in there that I want, to be quite frank with y'all. And it looks like, yeah, there's something hiding in that well, and it looks like that note's warning for something hiding in the well. Oh, Dark Souls community. Love y'all. But, uh, we are past the gate, so I actually want to crack that open. Once I'm certain I'm ready to drop down. Hmm. Yeah, there's the gate right there. Christ, I really want to not startle the witch in here. Here, I'm going to top myself off, just in case I end up startling the witch. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's a rafter right there. Oh, but you're right there. Oh, you piece of shit. Okay. Just kind of quietly walk away. Oh my god. Do you really have to do this? Do you really want to hurt me? I think as soon as I grab this, he's going to spring into action. Oh, maybe not. All right, fuck off. And maybe I can get the drop on you, literally, and get whatever you're holding or protecting. Oh, God. Wait, wait, Corona, that's all I wanted. Fuck off, fuck off. No, God, I just want to heal. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. All right, cool, cool story. But we got the way of white Corona. I can't remember what it does. I'm assuming it's worth it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, um, yeah, at least we know the path forward now. Jesus. <sighs> yeah, we can check the way of white corona. And then... Figure out what we want to do with that room. Um, that was a spell that we picked up, I believe. Way of white corona. A lost way of white miracle launches a white discus which slices into foes and returns to its conjurer. Long ago, when the imprints left by the gods were still deep, miracles of the way white existed alongside aerials. Those who yearned for their long lost aerials fully believed that they would return one day. Or aerials, I'm not sure. But uh, I believe one of the Corvian knights has that ability to do that, like slicing discus. Uh, we end up seeing it at some point. More importantly, want to open this pit up. There we go. And, um, trying to remember how we want to do this shit. I think we can come in here. Do you have anything new to say now that we fucked up oh, the settlement? Oh, please, it like must be you. Nope, that's it. Um, 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 we should have a little area over here, maybe? No, that comes back into the house. We opened up a shortcut to get, make it easier to get onto the roof, which is what we want. So I think it's actually over here. And that's where the nasties are. These are this is where the not nasty is. And this is where the shortcut is. Perfect, okay. And it, was, it should be right next to us, yeah. 
Okay, can everybody just cool it down for a second? Let me up on this fucking thing. Look, I just... I don't need this shit from y'all. I don't need this shit from you crows. From you crow-ass crows. Ugh, get up in there, bro. Okay, there we go. And then, now that we've gotten the treasures from the fucking Corvian Nightmare. And that guy's still hanging there. We can actually, uh, just keep going. Just keep fucking going. And now we should... I do want my souls, though. Shit. <laughs> Am I gonna be greedy? God, I might be. I might be greedy. Oh, he's wandering around. Bye, bitch. I'm actually gonna get my souls and then open that door and be on my way. Bye! It's been real! Just get the fuck up out of Dodge. Open that shit up. Okay, shortcut. Um, and now... I can actually go around back this building because we saw there was some interesting shit happening there. And oh look, you can get a ladder to the top again. Very nice. Very kind of FromSoft to do that for us. Um, yeah, it looks like there's some nastiness happening here. Oh, hi. Here, I'm gonna get you because I know you barf. Priorities, people. Wasn't there an item back here, or no? No, it appears not. Could this be a hole? Dear God, I believe it is. Um, yeah, there's nothing back here but an ambush. Well, son of a bitch. We could have had it all. Um, we're gonna keep going. Just keep on fucking going. Whoa, whoa, with that business. Calm yourself, ladies. Jesus. I'm actually gonna look around this graveyard real quick. You, oh, young white branch. That's a symbol of a dusk. Whoa, those branches, friend. If you could just fucking stay the fuck away from me, that would be fan-fucking-tastic. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. No with that. No, 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 no. Rusted coin. Great, thank you. Ah, get away. Fucking tree-ass tree. And there is an item over there. I don't know what it is. Obviously, it's not super important because I'm not like, huh, I'm missing something important. But what is in here is a bit more important. I've seen your kind. Time and time again. Every fleeing man must be caught. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. But in the end, you lack the stomach for the agony that you'll bring upon yourself. And this is Sir Wilhelm, which we've seen before. And he has a nasty, nasty, nasty blade. He's also quite quick, and he has, you know, that dark hand shit happening. Because of course he does. Ooh, no, you stop with that shit. Ooh, boy. I'm gonna chop your ass down as fast as I fucking can. Oh, you are such a coot. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Show me that good shit. Show the kids what you got. I wanted you to see that black flame. Ooh, didn't realize I did that to him, but I wanted you to see that black flame shit. Forgive me, my lady. I swore an oath. Elfrida. Now that's different. We've only heard her by Frida, haven't we? 
But uh, yeah, that was Sir Wilhelm. And we get a contraption key, as well as uh, we got something else from him. Can't remember what it was. I was too busy trying to focus on dialogue. Um, here, let's go through here. But we did get a young white branch. Um, it's the same as all the other ones, but we did get a contraption key. We can kind of hear some shuffling in the background. The key to the contraption leading to the attic of the archive found on the edge of the Corvian settlement. After Sir Wilhelm led a white-haired woman to the attic of the library, he kept this key as if it were his life. So he swore an oath, oath to Lady Elfrida, which we can guess is uh, probably Lady Frida. Um, and I think I... Oh, yeah, we got the onyx blade. That's right. That's what we got from this guy. Where is it? Onyx Blade. Elfrida, the eldest among her sisters and leader of the Sable Church, bestowed the sword to her knight. Only the sword was a farewell gift, and acceptance signified the knight's resignation from Elfrida's service. The skill is Elfrida's black flame, which is what he showed us. A wreath blade with black flame, born of the similarly hued flame that smolders within her. We're learning some shit about Elfrida. That maybe she's not a cool chill beezy as we once thought. But we can come down here. And th these are the archives of which they speak. Just want to knock some shit around. Uh, I feel like there is something hidden in here, but um, the contraption I remember is a little bit hidden. There it is. Use the contraption key to pull the lever. And I believe something comes down. Yeah, there we go. Those are perfectly good books! Anyway. We can come up here. And this is where we heard the shuffling coming from. I believe. I feel the scent of ash upon thee. Thou art one of whom Uncle Gale spoke. The one to show me flame. Thou art the one that Uncle Gale spoke of, the one to show me flame. Please show my lady flame. This is probably the lady that Gale is speaking of, and also the Corvian. Tis good. When this is done, may I return. The door is open thanks to thee. So we've set her free. Sir Wilhelm was keeping her prisoner prisoner here. Prisoner here, sorry. Tis good. I'll head off to paint. I promised Uncle Gale I would. She'll head off to paint. Hmm. Hmm. Tis good. When this is done, may I return. The door is open thanks to thee. Return to painting, really. Um, and it looks like she's just sort of scratching into the surface of the desk there. Misfortune ahead, but visions of dark. Oh, yeah? I don't know what this is. I've never encountered it, and I'm not about to find out. Boy, bye. Um, or if I... Oh, and there's a gate right here that we can unlock. Does not open from the side. What the friggity frack. But we can come out here. And we can leave stage right. Not pursued by a Corbian knight. And I believe, yes. Yes! We can unlock this gate for homegirl. We can also hit up this bonfire, this sick, nasty bonfire. Um, and this leads into a nasty section with the fair and followers that we will be doing next time. Fine work, therefore now the real fight begins. And dude, that is not a stretch. Um, real quick though, before we wrap up, that little girl, I don't think we can see it from here. We might have to wait till later here. Um, sorry, youngin. Gotta get up in your grill here. No, because her head's down. Um, her, there's something funky going on with her eyes. Let's put it that way. Um, also, yeah, she is the painter of this world, or she is supposed to be the painter of this world, or a painter of a world. Um, yes. So... We'll be learning more about her as we progress through Ashes of Arendelle. 
But for now, we're gonna rest. And in the next episode, we're gonna travel through the forest. And it is gonna be a shit show once more because those fair and followers, y'all. Anyway, my name is Joy. This is Game Center Crown. And thank you for joining me for the ashes of Ariandel. Praise the sun, y'all. Later.